Somebody here is an Aquarius rising. Karmic could have been this individual's parents, their mother or their father, okay, or their sibling. Um, you know, some of you, right, it was a karmic lover that they were living with, but we shall the ghetto. Welcome to Earth, okay. High Priestess, Five of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, yeah, y'all. Tell me how everything blew up in their face because of you. They're banking on that unconditional love, Scorpio. Because I'm telling you, where, where else is this person going to go? They know where you live. Who's coming towards you? Somebody's admitting to you the truth. Finally admitting that you were right. Hello, Scorpio. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Cersei Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is who's coming towards you. It is a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. Crosswatchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe. Galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for my Scorpios. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So Scorpio, who's coming towards you now? What do we got for my Scorpios? Okay. We have number two on the side, the High Priestess on the side, Pisces Energy, Neptune getting ready to station direct. Here we have Aquarius, the star. Mm, this is Uranus in transit. Then we have the North Node upside down here. Although I do feel it kind of came in that diagonal position. So I'm going to count it as diagonal, which in between reverse and Upright, I guess. So, what do we have at the bottom? Ace of Swords. Somebody here is an Aquarius rising. Scorpio, Sun, Aquarius rising. Hangman. Three of Cups. Eight of Wands. Somebody's revealing. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Cups, Nine of Swords, oh, somebody, I'm trying not to laugh, because isn't it funny how just, it's a thing, it, you, you know what it is, Scorpio, it's a thing called karma, it is, um, who's coming towards you, somebody's admitting to you the truth. Finally admitting that you were right all along. That you were right, okay, Scorpio? Somebody here is finally admitting to you that you were right all along. Because you, wh whoever this is, you told them not to go over there to those people, those family members, okay? Those karmic energies. Whoever this was, you told them, hey, don't go over there with that woman, with that man. That won't end well for you, Okay. And this individual went and self-sabotaged uh, self the connection. Went over there with those karmic energies. Really thought they were going to move forward. And now, for some of you, it's been eight years. For others, it's been three years, more or less, or 11. But they basically been going around in the same thing. They've been stuck in the hangman. So if they've left... This karmic connection, these karmic connections, or they're in the process of leaving these connections behind. And this is who's coming towards you within three weeks, three to eight weeks here. Or they're coming in right now. If not, they're coming in August, okay? But it's called leave well enough alone because the only thing they experienced over there was loss and pain. And now it's really giving that homeless energy. Like this individual doesn't know where they're going to go, where they're going to live, who they're going to be with. Because um, they were living with this third party. They were living with a third party or their mother. I'm getting strong parents in this read for some of you. So the third party karmic could have been this individual's parents, their mother or their father. 
okay, or their sibling, um, you know, some of you, right, it was a karmic lover that they were living with, but that situation has ended. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, Four of Pentacles. They know where you live, Scorpio. Ace of Wands. This is somebody's Twin Flame. This is a Twin Flame read. They know where you live, Scorpio, because they've been stalking you for a minute now. They've been stalking you. They think that you don't know. For a lot of you, they feel that you don't know that they know where you live. Or, or they feel like a lot of you feel that they are not interested. But I feel you're very intuitive and you know the truth. You know how obsessed this person is with you. This individual has driven by your place or has walked by your place in a disguise of some kind. But after a period of holding back, here they come revealing everything. And you're going to have to make a decision, okay? You're going to have to make a decision here. Like I said, it's either March or August for some of you. Hierophant. Could even be this May. Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this individual is on their way to homelessness. Somebody is coming back to you homeless. Homeless, defeated, and in despair. But it's because they didn't acknowledge the spiritual decree that they had with you. That's the thing. That You see, that's the thing. Like, a lot of these DMs and DFs did not have a karmic contract this lifetime. That's why they're ending up in this predicament to begin with. They're ending up in this predicament because they didn't follow through with the assignment. And they haven't followed through with their healing. So they chose a karmic energy when that was never supposed to be the plan for them. And now their life is in shambles because these people are not living together. If this is their parents or if this is their sibling or friends or if this was a karmic lover, these people had a fallout recently. This individual is living out of hostels and hotels. But this individual is what's coming towards you, love. And you're going to have to make a decision. Queen of Pentacles. Emperor. They they chose, They thought that over there it was going to be stable. So let's keep it moving. Yeah, this individual could have gotten married. Yeah, the sun, moon, and the tower. That is just over. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is just over. It's over, like literally overnight. It, it, it's so funny how spirit overnight can change everything overnight you know we don't really think about it but you going to sleep and then waking up and you realize something has changed forever your life is never the same that's the power of spirit and that's what has happened here the tower has come crashing down or it's in the process of crashing down around this twin flame this soulmate of yours and what they thought was secure and stable, they're going to have to move on from with the Six of Swords there. And now they're realizing that what you told them all those years ago or all those months ago about these people, about your, you know, about their parents. You know, you told them about your experience. Perhaps you didn't have good experience with your parents. OK, and, you know, you saw that same pattern being played out in their life so you warned them like hey your parents like you gotta wash out your mother your father like or your sister right like you gotta wash out like the, the these are not good people for you you need to start making plans to cut them out um or right you told them about your previous marriage or your previous relationship and you noticed that their boyfriend their girlfriend or who they were interested in basically you told them like listen the path you're going on is going to lead you into despair or some type of destruction. So don't go there. But they still went there. So essentially now they're effed. Now they're getting the blowback. And I'm telling you, they're going to come back to homeless. Yep, wanting to move in, making a love offer here. Look at this. They're going to be homeless. Uh, I'm telling y'all. King of Wands, they could have been a little bit of a player even as well, playing too many games with your heart. Queen of Cups, they're banking on that unconditional love that you showed them 
back in the past, back in the day. They are banking on that unconditional love, Scorpio. Because I'm telling you, where, where else is this person going to go? This person has nowhere else to go. Let's see here, spirit. They don't got nowhere else to go, y'all. They don't have any money. They've really hit some hard times. Nine of Swords, the world. Yeah, the... the Ten of Wands and Death, hoping against all odds that there's still a way that they can that they can worm their way back in. Like for you, it could be over. You could feel so disrespected by this person, Scorpio, but for them, it's not over. Now they're stressing out because how do they fix it? That's why they're stressing out. How do they fix what happened between the two of you? Because they're... Oh, who we shall the ghetto welcome to earth okay high priestess five of wands wheel of fortune yeah y'all tell me how everything blew up in their face because of you because their family their parents uh, their sibling their friends this karmic lover that they were with it all blew up because of you you see the evidence was found on their phone on a USB drive or on a micro SD card, the evidence was found. Photos, messages, and call logs that this person had with you when you two were engaging with each other. And you see, that's how you know these people are all karmic that were around them. That's how you know this is a divine connection. Because karmics will team up with each other, even if they don't like each other, to attack a divine feminine and divine masculine and to keep them from coming into their divine union, which is sanctified and blessed by the Most High. These people found your, you know, they found some type of evidence on this individual's personal property about you and all hell broke loose because they're karmic and they want to keep them away from you and they want to keep you away from them. So, Whatever happened here has caused the tower to come crashing down, and the truth is fully revealed now. Everybody knows that this person, Scorpio, that's coming towards you is into you. Everybody knows that the two of you might come into some type of union, and they're really panicking. They're really panicking and distressed. Son, spare saying yes. Hermit is here. And King of Pentacles. I know somebody is not going to come. <laughs> They're going to try to come your way, Scorpio, acting like they are okay financially. Like, that's how they're going to come towards you all. And this hermit, very mature. They're going to come back to you acting, but you're going to call them out. You're going to call them out. You're going to tell them, you know, save the act. Yeah, Sherry is fair saying yes. You're going to tell them because you, none of that Seven of Swords. No, no, no. Uh -uh, none of that Seven of Swords. You, 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 you're you, going to tell this person. you got to tell me the truth, love. Okay? The, the truth and we'll have the lovers. Or if you're going to come here with the lies, then you got to go. Seven of Wands. That's the energy. Okay? That's the energy, love. You see the cards right here. You, you will have no problem sacrificing, okay, this connection this twin flame connection if they're not going to be truthful and honest of their intentions from the start because look you guys show up as each other's match twice here i know i saw the queen of cups she's right here so you have the queen of cups and the king of cups you also have the queen and king of pentacles so y'all show up as each other's match twice but they gotta tell you the truth they can't come here acting like they have everything going good they're only coming to you now because spirit is basically forcing them to because if spirit didn't force them to they would never show up and you know this is some harsh truth but it's the truth we have to be honest with ourselves they are they are only showing up because they're too prideful to admit that they were wrong with their initial choice they are only showing up now because they are desperate. They really don't want to show up because they have too much pride. You know? Oh, well. I told you so. I told you that karma was no good news. What did you think was going to happen? I told you all of that months ago. 
they don't want to catch that from you. You see, they really were living under delusions about who you truly are as the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Ten of Swords. Fool took a foolish leap of faith and at what cost? What did it cost them? It costed them everything. So now they got to figure out how to make these amends to the person, to, to you, Scorpio. How are they going to make this amend after they done betrayed y'all? Because the Ten of Swords is betrayal. Because So there was a form of betrayal here. After they done betrayed y'all, how did they make the amends? And that's why they're in the Nine of Swords. They, they, now they realize that they got to clean up this mess. That they got to... You know, they got to come with the explanations because they know that they're not going to be able to lie to you or deceive you. They know that you see right through them. They know, y'all, they, they know that you you can see right through them. They know, Scorpio, I'm telling you, that's why they are avoiding. That's why they're avoiding you. That's why they go silent because they know that you can see right through them. If you get too close or, you know, you are around them too much that you'll finally see the you know, the downloads through the energy, right? Because we don't need the cards. Sometimes just being around somebody, we can get the download. We can get the, you know, we can feel and read the energy and realize, wait a minute, you're not being truthful to me. What are you hiding? Remember that meme? It was like Virgos be like, and it had Beyonce. And underneath it was like, um, I thought about what you told me on such and such day at 3 a.m. in the morning and it's still not adding up. And it was like from like 2017 or something like that's basically what this would be like this person copied it. But you're going to be like, well, I thought about what you told me, but something is still not adding up. You're not telling me the full story. And that's where they're like stressing out because they don't want to tell you the full story. I guess they're embarrassed, but it's going to have to be talked about. This is going to have to be discussed. Like, I don't know what this person thought. Finances, yep. Yep, rebuilding and the star. You see, they're going to need you to rebuild their life. That's what they don't want to tell you, that they need you. And on a larger like on a personal level it's like wow f this person like they're only coming over here for financial stability but this is the only way spirit is going to be able to bring this individual to you because they thought the luck here was in this karmic cycle but that is over spirit wants to force this person towards you so that they recognize the truth once and for all that you are their person Spirit wants to do this so that this person being around you, they fall in love with you. Like they finally allow themselves to love you fully, which is what they have always felt because the King of Cups is there. But if this person is avoiding you, then how 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 is that going to happen? This individual runs from you because they're too scared to embrace what they have felt for you all those years. This is the only way that spirit can Get this person in your energy to you so that they fully embrace that love. It's going to be a process. It's going to take its time. But over time, they're going to fall in love with you and they're going to settle down. And they're going to find their way. Y'all, that alien mothership is flying over the house again. I'm telling you, who, who else heard the alien mothership in Jersey? I can't be the only one. It literally sounded like District 9. If you ever seen District 9, the ending where the alien activates the mothership, and it literally, I'm, I'm not even kidding y'all, it literally shook all the windows in my house. It rattled everything. And it literally sounded like the District 9 UFO. I was looking up in the sky, I couldn't see anything. But it was shaking everything. I was like, bro, the aliens are already here. Anyhow, that's what it sounds like right now. What I'm hearing up in the sky, Snake is here. Yeah, this is a Scorpio for a lot of you. This is this is how you know this is your story because this is a Scorpio. This could be a Virgo, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, or a Sash, okay? Wheel of Fortune there. A lot of mutable energy, okay? Could even be a Leo. Single life, yep. Yeah. I'm going to take this to the extended. What's going to be the outcome? Well, here, let's see what's the outcome here. And then in the extended, I guess I'll go into like the finer details. 
What's going to be the outcome for these two? These two lovebirds. Knight of Swords, Three of Swords. There's going to be forward movement, but will it last? Eight of Cups with the Ace of Cups. Will it last? And the Two of Cups. Y'all, that alien mothership is literally above the area again. It literally sounds like District 9. It's a bit further out. It's not directly above my house like it was the one the one Monday. Because the one Monday was directly over my house and we heard that ish and it shook the whole house and all the windows. Anyhow, that's your read. That's what I have for you. I will see the extended. What do we have in the extended for my Scorpios? But if not, I wish you love and light and I wish you the best. Take care.